All right, so I'm gonna be exploring the amazing Bogota city. So I was told the city was not safe. I should be very careful before coming here, but I'm gonna see what the city has to offer for me, checking out as usual the nice spots. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. I'm going to be checking out in Bogota is the where the city was founded. This is the very center of Bogota. This is where the, the, the village was formed. Bogota was a village then. It was formed with a temple and 12 houses and it, since then it's grown to become what it is right now which is one of the largest cities in the whole of Latin America. Uh, so uh, a lot of historical things can, uh, can be found around this place like the oldest church which I'm going to be checking out which is built uh, I think some years after the city was founded. So this place is called the center of the city, but it's really not the center because it's towards the east of the city. But because this, uh, the city was founded here, this is where Bogota originated from, this particular square, and this is dubbed as the center of the city. Um, now it's called Santander, uh, one of the most prominent men that came out from Colombia. And uh, in the days you can see people playing around with skates and doing different activities around the city. So it's a great place to start my tour from, which where the city was founded. You guys can check it out and uh, let's go to the next spot afterwards. All right, so I'm going to be checking out the Gold Museum of Bogota. Um, like I said in one of my, uh, said earlier, gold was not a, a thing of high value in this part of the world. It was in the western part. So there's, there's a gold museum they have in Colombia. The first one I saw was in Costa Rica. But I've been told they have more deposits of gold in Bogota. So I'm excited to see the land of gold, yeah, the museum of gold. And I'm going to compare it to what I saw in Costa Rica and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. So let's go right inside. I'm just waiting for, my, uh, for the doors to open. Not a lot of people there, so we're going to get some amazing shots inside the museum. All right, so we're about the first floor where the exhibition begins. And let's go check what's inside. This is a lot of gold. El Dorado. I've seen more gold pieces in this floor than I saw in Costa Rica. So already I'm impressed and I'm here to, I'm, I've only seen two floors. So this is a lot of gold, uh, golden artifacts they have here. Now this is the artisan market, uh, it contains, as you know, I love souvenirs and I like to gather them. So I'm going to check out some of the things they have here and see if I can get a nice piece for myself. So let's go right inside and see what it's like. Ooh, they do have uh, some pieces. Okay, I think I've seen something I like. Hola, senorita. Senorita, hola. Hola. Yes. Can I ask? Dependiendo, cariño. What is it made of? It's an edges. Ceramica. It's ceramic. Oh. That can easily break. I want something like. It could be, yeah, it could be a little bit easy to, to break. Right, just waiting for it to pack out. I think I found the perfect hat replacement. The one I saw in Costa Rica, I do really like it. Gracias. Uh, can she put it in a bag? Like, yeah. Perfect. I'll just wrap it up. Okay. 
Gracias. So ten ten thousand please. Ten thousand? <laughs> Gracias. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's go check out the next spot. Okay, let me change my cup first. I like, I saw a cup I like. I mean, señorita. What is that? Thirty okay. Can I see it? Like, or does she have a new one inside? Can I show Okay, let me see. Let me. Like, let me test it out. Yeah, bring it down. Let me test it out. <laughs> Do you have a mirror? <laughs> oh, gracias. Uh, have a look at it. Yep. Oh. Okay, that works. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> she has to say it looks good. If she says she's okay, I'm not buying it, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, ¿Cuánto? Three. Three, 30,000. How about 15,000? The minimum? Comunica. Senorita? 25. What did you say? 25. That's 20,000? 25. Si, sí, económica. She said that you're learning bad habits. Eh? <laughs> Tell her I'm an expert at bargaining. That's what I do for fun. I'm winning right now. Like. Oh. So how much? How much did you say? Twenty-eight. I thought you said twenty-five. Um, I was asking to her for twenty. Let's do let's do twenty. Let's do twenty. Twenty. Mm, wait. Twenty-five. No. Twenty-five. Tell her that she's too good looking to be giving me a high price. <laughs> so, twenty-five. No, 25, 28, 28. 25, 25. No, no, How much is she saying? Okay, I like the cup. Because she's good looking, I'll, let, I'll give her a pass. Okay, this is 28. Okay. Is it nice? It's good. Mm, matches the shirt. So that's it, let's go check out the next board and uh, let me take a selfie first to see what I, I'm even feeling myself. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Wait. Perfect. <laughs> no. All right, so I'm currently in the main square. Uh, I see there are lots of birds here. These serves are the political power of Bogota, and I'm going to see if I can get them to eat right from my hands and see them come. Oh, shit! Oh, Jesus! Ooh. Okay, so here they go. Here they fly out, birching out on me. Ah! So the main square serves as the main power, political power. They have the presidential palace here, and they have so many other things here as well. Uh, the Cathedral Church, the Supreme Court, which we're going to be checking out. And uh, it serves as the main place for the indigenous tribes, pre-Spanish arrival. It was where the, uh, the, the pre, uh, the tribe, the natives of Colombia will have a look at the equinox and the sunset. But now the Spanish uh, conquerors changed it to the main palace. And now we host so many important buildings. And most importantly, I love the birds I've seen so far. Um, I think I'm enjoying feeding birds right now. That's a new... That's a new hobby. Let me let me give you one more try. I'll try to be much more confident this time. Look at this. They're so aggressive. Shit. Look at that. Look at that. Oh shit. Oh my 
I just got from my friend. Oh, ooh, shit, ooh. All right, all right, it, okay, 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 girls, okay, girls. Ah! So that's it. Woo! Okay. So on this square marked a very dark chapter in Colombian history. If you've watched uh, Narcos on Netflix or any movie from Pablo Escobar, you'll be aware that he blew up the Supreme Court. And that's the next place I'm going to. So um, this is the Supreme Court of Colombia. Uh, Pablo Escobar became world, globally infamous. Let me be careful of the words to use. When he blew up this country's Supreme Court. Like, how can you blow up your country's Supreme Court? So what I did find out here was that he wasn't actually the one who blew it up. That Pablo Escobar sent some individuals, sorry, sent a guerrilla group to destroy all the documents against him. But it was the military sent by the president who was sent to sort of shut down the Supreme, the, the Supreme Court after it had been robbed. So the, the military decided to shut up, shut down the entire building and hence was rebuilt into what we have here. So effectively, it was never... I mean, he still cost it anyways, but wasn't the one who sort of destroyed it, but it was his actions that led to the Supreme Court being rebuilt again. And it's just really fascinating. I don't think they'll let us inside it, but when you see things in movies and you experience it yourself, it's a different type of feeling. You see, Colombia is very rich in history. Yesterday I was looking at El Dorado, today I'm looking at Pablo Escobar, just in one, city, in one country, all that mixed up. This is the oldest restaurant in Colombia. All right, so I'm gonna be trying out the traditional midday lunch in the oldest restaurant in Colombia. It's uh, made of chocolate and cheese, and uh, sorry, hot chocolate, cheese, and a tamale. But we're trying to keep it light, I'm only gonna try the hot chocolate and the, and the bread and the cheese. So the history of the midday snacks is rooted in, they're called 11s here, but it's rooted in some group of men who wanted to hide certain things from their wives. So they used the word 11s as a code word to tell their wives we were going out and the wives never knew what they meant. So like I'm going for 11s, the wives would be confused like what, what, what are you going for? Not knowing we're going for a midday snack. So that's what it's for and I'm going to be experiencing one year on the oldest restaurant in Colombia, 1816. I think my granddad was probably not alive then. <laughs> So I'm just gonna have a bit of it. Uh, there's hot chocolate here. You can never go wrong with hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate. Uh, just put that separately apart. And there's this baked cornbread with a bread and butter and cheese. And I'll uh, just have a taste of it. Right. Put the cheese in between it, or you can just put it in little pieces inside there. In my hands, right? Okay. So, in case I'm not eating it properly, please pardon me. Just learning it for the first time. So, mm. so to eat it properly, I have to put the cheese inside the coffee. So, oh, sorry, the hot chocolate. So, I'll just try that out now. This is Bogota style. So I can either drink the coffee raw, right? So I can, so I can drink the cheese okay. like that. The cho I think it's melted. No, it's it's done. Okay, 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 okay. It's almost melted. You see? Okay, so give it a try. Mm. See? Then you can just take it like this, or you can drink the chocolate normally, and at the end take all of the cheese and eat it like this. Ah. So that's cheese and hot chocolate, guys. Okay, so um, I'm gonna try this out as well. Mm. Yeah, it's different. Alright, so we're going to be checking out this museum in Bogota. This museum is very important as it contains three museums in one, showing the history of the country, the commerce, the trade of the country. Basically, it's like a, like a super cultural hub, basically. And I'm excited to check it out, and let's go right inside and uh, 
look into the history of Bogota. So it's really big, so I can tell this many things that we have to cover while we're here.